Welcome to Rooster TV and today we're joined by the 100 game milestone man from the weekend, Alex Spina. Alex, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tubbs. Good to, uh, good to see the voice is in fine form there, mate, after another uh, cheap shot to the throat. <laughs> he, uh, he's copped a couple over the last few weeks, but uh, just quickly on the game, mate, it was an uh, intense final few minutes. Uh, I think yourself had a, a game-saving smother there across half-back, but uh, just give us your thoughts on the game and what it was like out on the field. Yeah, I thought uh, early on, I think Glenelg uh, dominated us really in the first quarter. So um, I think to defensively hold them to just a goal, obviously they had a few shots on goal, but um, yeah, to hold them to a goal, but to claw our way back throughout the next couple of quarters was nice. I think I, th- I think we won the second quarter, which might have been our first second quarter win of the year almost. So um, yeah, I thought we played reasonably well. Um, we executed our plan pretty well in terms of... Um, how we wanted to play and a, and a few roles within the team as well. Uh, it's just disappointing we couldn't quite sneak over the line in the end, but um, I didn't definitely think we didn't deserve to lose. So at least we got a point, but um, it would have been nice to get the win in the end. But uh, we'll move forward and hopefully get a few more wins to finish the year off. Yeah, a couple of those roles that were uh, very important in the result were uh, Cameron Craig on the uh, competition's leading goal kicker Lee McBean and Jake Keller playing a, a forwards role on uh, Chris Curran who's been a dominant figure for Glenelg all season uh, with two in particular that uh, stood out. Yeah definitely I think that was definitely Craigie's best game of the year um, thought he yeah, played really well and, and was a real anchor in our back line without uh, Tanner obviously playing a bit more on the wing so um, yeah Cam played really well, Jakey Keller had a really good game as well, obviously forged a career probably playing down more in the back line but um, came came and played on um, Chris Curran who's obviously their captain and uh, one of the best defenders in the competition so um, great performance by him but I thought um, Marcus Lee did a really good job as well on Luke Reynolds um, Luke Warden obviously started on him but went off with the knee injury so I thought Macca's game was probably his best for the year as well so those were a few, few of the guys that sort of stood up and um, played really well Another guy who played his 50th game on the weekend in Benny Jarman, he's uh, joined you down back and uh, he's just starting to find his feet in the role and he's going to yeah, be probably a bit, form an integral part of that uh, back line moving forward. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Benny probably struggled a bit at the start of the year um, to string a few games together as well. He had a few injuries that were holding him back, but I think him coming down back has been, been really good for him and, and for us as the team as well. He's a very good user of the ball. Um, he's actually reasonably quick as well, so we like to get the ball in his hands. But, um, yeah, he's shown what he can do down there, so hopefully he can have a really strong pre-season next year and um, play consistent footy for us in the future. Um, it's good playing with him down there, and hopefully, yeah, he has a good few years for us uh, to come. And on the... Uh on the weekend, we had the uh, past players day, and there was quite a few of the guys uh, down in the rooms uh, after the, after the draw. Uh, they they had a few beers and were were chatting away. Did you get to talk to many of them? Yeah, I got to talk to a few. I think uh, a few of the recent guys I used to play with, so George Thring, Benny Williams, uh, LJ Connors were all there in, in good form, which was good to see. Um, Lukey Ivans actually tossed the coin as well, which was uh, good to have him out there. But yeah, it was, it's always good to play in front of the past players and. Um, the boys actually do get a good kick out of playing um, when they're all there and would have been nice, they're in the change rooms after the game, it would have been nice to walk in with a win, it um, would have been some pretty good celebrations but um, yeah it's always nice to play in front of them. Yeah. And also our, uh, our best and fairest winner from last year, Cullen Wilkie, was, uh, he stayed around after St Kilda played here on the weekend and it was a good catch up for yourselves to meet the great man as he calls himself. Yeah it was. He, uh, he, he was asking us during the week if he, if he should bring his own pen down because he's going to sign that many autographs in, in the rooms afterwards. But it was good to see Wilkes. We went out for a bit of a feed after, uh, after the game. Um, so it's always good to catch up. We keep in pretty close contact with him um, during the weeks. But, uh, yeah, it was good to see him. And uh, we've been nice to have him in our team still. But uh, he's obviously having a very good first year in the AFL, which is great to see. And just uh, uh, quickly, we'll touch on, on yourself. 100 games for the football club. You've come right through the junior program. Um, yeah, just talk us through your, your pathway. Yeah, so I started uh, at North in 2008. It was my first year in the under-13s. Um, coming along with guys like Mitch Harvey, um, who was Sam Monkey, He's played a bit of league footy. Liam Jacker, a few other guys as well. But yeah, came through the junior development program. Um, played a couple of years in the under-16s where we won two flags. Um, 
and played a couple of years in the 18s before going on to sort of school footy at Ross Trevor, but also into the reserves as well. And then eventually um, made my way into into the league team, um, first off at Adelaide, but uh, in 2015 uh, here at North. So it's been uh, good fun. Haven't, uh, haven't been as successful as we would have liked, apart from the Premiership year, but I think going forward uh, we've got the core group that can take us to another premiership hopefully uh, next year yeah we have had some uh, some milestones recently all guys that have come through the uh, the football program here at North Adelaide in the underage so it's it's good that we've got a core group of guys that have uh, come through the system and uh, yeah starting to string together 50 100 game milestones which is going to be important moving forward so rest uh, rest up this week we've got a uh, we've got a buy for the split round so uh, you guys got anything planned uh, a few of us are actually going to uh, the Port game, Port Sydney game. There's about 10 of us that uh, got a little uh, box there. So that'll be good to uh, just relax for the weekend, um, hopefully rest up the body. And uh, we've got two more games against South at Norlunga and, uh, and Eagles at home as well, which we'd like to, uh, like to win both games and um, finish off the year really strongly. Because I think the last few weeks, apart from the second half against Norwood, have been uh, really positive. So... Uh, if we can continue that form, that'd be nice, and uh, we can take that into the preseason. That's right. Thanks, Alex. It's uh, as mentioned, we do we do place uh, South LA down at Norlunga on Sunday, the 18th of August. Uh, hope to see you all down there. And to Alex, great game yesterday, and uh, hopefully we can get a couple of wins to finish the year off. Thank you. Thank you.